Hey guys, Andy here from ReverbNerds.com and this is Ambi Guitar Tip number 7 and today I want to talk more about stacking delay pedals and I, I kind of went into some of these concepts a little bit in my very first Ambi Guitar Tip video and if you haven't watched that yet please do it's, uh, it's about um, kind of creating like a wash underneath your guitar and part of doing that was uh, using multiple delays and I talked about how um, mix levels go into it, how the tone, the brightness or darkness, and the amount of repeats kind of goes into that. So I'm not really going to go into that stuff this time. Um, really what I want to focus on right now is the, uh, I guess, kind of the tempo of each delay. So I get this question a lot. So when using multiple delays for making a big swell sound or kind of a washy sound, what are my tempo settings or what are my BPM millisecond settings so I want to kind of walk you through how I set these delays up in terms of their timing okay um, but first of all I, I do want to answer the question too so why why would you want to stack multiple delays people if people see multiple delays on your pedal board or you know on mine they say why why wouldn't you just get like a, a timeline or a time factor so you can have a preset delay that can do each of those things um, well, I mean, really, the answer is it can't. It can do all those things, but only one at a time, right? So, I've got three delays here. Um, as you can see, I've got the Echo Dream Two from Death by Audio, which is an analog delay. Um, the El Capistan by Strymon, which emulates a tape delay, and the Echo Park from uh, Line Six, which um, is a digital delay. And those are all three very different sounding delay pedals. And um, the whole reason I have them separate is so I can run them into each other. So, um. I'll just sort of jump in and tell you, show you what I'm talking about here. So this is my clean signal. I'm playing a Telecaster into a matchless Clubman. It sounds like this. All right. So what I'm going to step you through is um, each delay pedal one by one, showing you how I set it up and how I base the sound of the next pedal off of the first one I set, if that makes sense. So um, the, the, the signal order here goes from right to left, so I start with the Echo Dream 2. So I'm going to click that one on here and I'll show you what I have it set to sound like. So you can hear that's kind of kind of quick repeats. Okay, so that's kind of, that's my chosen starting point. It's kind of arbitrary. Um, so that that's just where I've chosen to start, all right? So given that, um, I'm going to want to add another delay on top of it. I'm going to add the L cap stand to it. So um, so well, I'll just turn it on and show you. All right. So here we go. So as you can see, that's kind of filling it out, kind of adding some soupiness to it. It's also kind of um, taking away the attack of the delay repeats. Like it kind of turns into a wash pretty quickly. So let me show you how I set that up. Let me turn the Echo Dream off. So first off, you should notice that the El Capstan has a longer delay time. And that, that was on purpose. Um, I will say that in general, as I go through my delay chain, the the repeat lengths usually get longer. So it starts off shorter and each pedal gets progressively longer. And I'll show you why, because um, just as an experiment, all right, so let's, let's look at the tempo of the Echo Dream 2. So that's pretty quick. I'm going to attempt to match that tempo with the LCAP center real quick here. Let me see. Ah. Okay, so I think I've matched it with the tap there. So now let me turn on the L cap stand. I'll show you what that sounds like. So that's not nearly as soupy or as washy. And the reason for that is that the tempos are far too similar. You're getting like a sort of weird uh, phasing effect, I guess, because the effects, the, uh, the repeats are sort of landing on top of each other each time for the most part. I don't know, that may be a sound you want um, in certain situations, but for what we're going for, kind of in an ambient guitar sound, you want it to be a little more washy and 
um, undistinguishable, I guess. So, so what I would do from here is start messing around with tempos. Uh, I'll just use the tap. I just tap in a random slower tempo. We'll see what that sounds like. So you can get into weird situations where you can actually do a longer tempo, but it's still like a multiple of your first delay. It almost seems like that's what I've done unintentionally. So let me try to get it a little bit faster now. Okay, so you see there, now we've got a different tempo where it's kind of filling in the gaps of the other delay. So if you don't if you don't have a tap, that's totally fine. You can just mess with the knob. So uh, obviously that's getting faster. Start rolling it back. That's kind of cool. That's kind of stuttery delay. So it, it, we can kind of see what I'm getting at here is that um, it's really important to s have a starting delay. Um, and then once you add the second delay to it, really pay attention to what the repeats are doing. And I, I'm picking pretty pretty uh, prominent notes here just to see what the delays are doing. Hearing how they interact with each other. That's not necessarily how I'm going to play. Um, I'm looking for something kind of like this, you know. But I'll do like a really strong picked note just to sort of hear what's going on. Let's see what happens when we make it a little bit longer. See, that's kind of cool. It feels more random. What it was just at before was kind of like a in time with the other delay, and this one's a little more off kilter. Kind of like that better. Okay. Cool, so that's uh, the first two delays set up how I want, time-wise anyway. And uh, you know, maybe if you've got two delays, maybe that's good enough for you right there. That's enough washy ambience for you, but um, say you had a third delay and you want to throw it into the mix, um, let's see how you would do that. So I've got the Echo Park here set as a digital delay. Um, and the the other reason I might want to do this is because these two delays, I have them set kind of dark, the first two. And so maybe if you're feeling like you need to cut through the mix more or just you prefer to have a little bit of a brighter sound in there, this this will mix in a brighter delay sound. So this is just straight digital, super clear, repeats, that kind of thing. So let me see what we've got here. So you can hear that digital delay kind of popping out a little more than the others. Let's listen to it just by itself. Okay, so you can see I've already got it set longer than the El Capistan even. Let's just have these two on. Okay, so it's still kind of, it's still an interesting pattern together, kind of an off-kilter thing. Let's make it longer even. That's kind of cool too. Let's see how that sounds with uh, all the delays together. I like that. That's pretty cool. So. Um, the big takeaway from this one is to just really pay attention to how your two or three delay times are interacting with each other. Um, I recommend starting out, and of course do this however you want, but start out with um, a shorter delay, um, and then as you go through your delay pedals, um, increase the delay time, and that kind of yields these kind of interesting sounds like I just showed you. Um, of course, start long and go short, see what that does, experiment. Um, but just, I think a lot of people um, just don't pay attention to it, and what happens is they will happen to stumble upon some delay times that are landing right on top of each other and resulting in that weird phasey sound, and they don't really know why that's happening. 
Um, really, it's just a matter of sitting there, tweaking the time, and uh, getting something that's um, working all together. All the delay pedals are working together and making that cool sort of washy ambient sound. And of course, um, you know, I haven't done any swells yet, but it works really well with swells, of course. So it just gives you that nice smooth sound with the delays not um, running into each other as much. So anyways, uh, that's it for that tip. Looking forward to uh, more tips in the future. And uh, visit ReverbNerds.com for more. Talk to you guys later.